Hi, hi, how are ya? Uh, we're here, it's a reading vlog. I am here because I'm about to be unpresentable and I realized I hadn't started my 72 hours in the reading nook vlog. So I thought I would start that now so that I can listen and read the books I need to read for this readathon. This is gonna be really quick, simple. There are spinner wheels, all of that stuff. I'll have the link to the announcement video linked down below. By the time you're seeing this, readathon's over, but if you wanted to know what it was about, go ahead. Let me turn on the screen recording real quick. So we're here for the first spin. Every time you read, need a new book, you're gonna spin the spinner wheel. Um, and so I am remaining in my comfort zone because the plans that I have in February just mean that um, trying to find books that are out of my comfort zone would probably be a little bit of a, a little bit of a problem. I've got the spinner wheel. Let us see what I get. If it lands on friend recommends, I am re-spinning. Okay, I landed on TBR vet, which means it needs to be something that's been on my TBR for a while. I can work with that because I have right over here, I've got Freedom is a Constant Struggle by Angela Davis. I've been meaning to read this anyways, so I can just pull that up. I've got the audiobook. I can listen to that. Fantastic. This will be a relatively nice short book, I think. So there we go. All right, so we're going to go put stuff in my hair and I'll be back when I'm done with this book. It's a very short, I think it's like six hours as an audiobook. Uh, and I don't listen at one time speed, so I should be back probably about the time that everything's been washed out of the hair. Hello, do not let the sweater fool you, it is tomorrow. Uh, I have finished Freedom is a Constant Struggle by Angela Davis. I'm giving this five stars. It's a fa it's fantastic, it's amazing. I can see why this is such a central feminist text. This is a little off, give me just a second, let me fix this angle. By the way, this is a collection of essays, speeches, different things that she has done throughout the last, I think, 10 or so years. It is put together by Frank Barat. Um, he's an activist. It starts out with some inter interviews between Angela and Frank and then it goes into some of her speeches. You can see how this is the product of her years of activism. How this is the product of her engaging not just with black liberation and black power movements, but also connecting those movements and connecting that struggle to other struggles within the world. This was written, I think, in like 2014. So this is right in the, the aftermath of Ferguson, uh, Mike Brown, Eric Garner, all of that stuff. Um, and the, the things that, that, that came out of it, uh, Occupy, the Occupy movement is another thing that she mentioned. She talks about the connection of Ferguson being influenced by protesters in Palestine who recognized that the tear gas canisters that were being thrown at Ferguson protesters were the same tear gas canisters that were being provided to the Israeli military uh, in Palestine. And then from Palestine, she goes and you you sit down and you look at like South Africa and from South Africa you go back to the Jim Crow South and and even further back in that and the way that she's able to draw all of those connections and see like just the way she's able to see the grander picture a lot of these are concepts that I I understand I know and yet the way that she is able to to talk about them and the way that she's able to get her point across and draw these parallels still had me really thinking about and sitting in the different um, the different struggles in, in, in the different things that like so much with Rob is like, well, that's something else that I need to look into and I need to look into that too. And I just like, yeah, I'm about to go, like you can see I tabbed this. It's a library book, so I couldn't like highlight anything, but I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go get my own copy. And then when I, when I highlight stuff, what was, hold on, there was one that was really, really, really good. Which one was the one that I wanted to read out to y'all? There are a couple of really good quotes that she has and she says, um, the movement we call the civil rights movement and what was called by most of its participants the freedom movement reveals an interesting slippage between freedom and civil rights. That the only way to be free is to acquire civil rights within the existing framework of society. Had slavery been abolished in 1863 through the Emancipation Pro Proclamation or in 1865 through the third Amendment, black people would have enjoyed free and equal citizenship and it would not have been necessary to create a movement. Another really good essay in here is where she's talking, what's the name of it? Hold on, let me look at what the name of this is. It's uh, Closures and Continuities and she talks about the fact that human rights, civil rights, the struggle for freedom, they, there's not really any closure on that because it is a constant struggle. Duh. Here's another quote where she's talking about a historian who was doing research in um, into slavery and 
um, the institution and she go or she writes but and in my mind this may be the most important aspect of his research he discovers that he cannot tell the story of slavery and US higher education without also simultaneously telling the story of the genocidal colonization of Native Americans if you don't know this the reason that people started bringing black people over the reason black people were kidnapped from africa and brought over to south america first and then um to what north america and what would be the united states is because they killed out killed off so much of the native popu population in south america that they had no workers and they went to africa because africa was old world and so they had some of the immunities or they had the immunities that the Europeans would have had. They had the same um, exposure to the, to the different diseases that when you go over here to, to, to South America, to North America, people didn't have that because they'd never been exposed to those. So it wasn't just that like no one had ever had these, they went through these populations so quickly because there was no immunity whatsoever in the population to these diseases. Something that I really want to do, I do want to look at, is I want to look at something that's a little bit more recent from her, because this, not only is it, like, the, the amount of optimism that's in this book, I really want to see where she is now in 2023 or in 2022, 2021, whenever her most recent book was published, um, or in recent speeches. She has a perspective because she's been doing this so long that I think it makes it easier for her to see hope um, and to not get bogged down, or not bogged down, but to not lose hope in the present circumstances that we are facing because I know right now it is really really hard especially for like my generation for Gen Z it's so hard for us to be able to continue to have hope because we're seeing so many things go backwards and and she's sitting there going okay things keep like a lot of this is things go backwards and then they move forwards again again it comes back to the premise of the book which is freedom is a constant struggle I need to go and figure out what my next book for this 72 hour readathon is. So let's go back to the, the 72 hour readathon thing. I'm a Bible duder. We're going to go back to the In Your Comfort Zone spinner wheel. We're going to visit that site. Um, I should probably pull up my screen recorder for y'all because I was going to do, I did that the last one. I would like to get more than one book read in this readathon. Okay, let's spin and see what we get. <laughs> I appreciate that less than 300 pages okay that's fantastic because you know what I want to do you know what I want to do you know what I, where is it I'm gonna set myself up for success this weekend I'm gonna use that to read uh, volume 5 of spy family by Tatsuya Indo one of these days I how many volumes is my question does it take me to learn the name of the mangaka I probably should not have high hopes that it will take me uh, a short amount of time considering that I still have to look at the book for books that I of authors that I've been reading for a very very long time you are not a true booktuber if you don't have to look at the book to remember the author's name or the names of the characters you're just not doing booktube right if you have those memorized I'm gonna go finish up these sprints um, that I am doing on my channel if you're watching this and you're new to the channel hi we do sprints every Tuesday and Saturday typically usually I'm gonna start trying to publish a sprint schedule just you know so y'all have an idea of what's going on whether or not that will actually happen I don't know if you are a regular subscriber feel free to hold me to that if you're not a regular subscriber you are welcome to subscribe and hold me to that <laughs> anyways I'm gonna go do the thing and I will see y'all when I have an update, when we, when we finish the next thing. We're back and it's the same day, which is impressive considering all things considered. <laughs> this was an interesting volume. We had some stuff happen. We were doing real well at the first half and then the second half got a little weird. Not my favorite. I also am not liking the continuing like your can't cook narrative. If you don't know, I really just hate the narrative where it's like smart woman can't follow directions on a recipe like I just like I get that like there is an art to cooking and not everyone is going to be able to like be a good cook but like if you're smart enough to be a super assassin 
you're smart enough to follow a freaking recipe. I especially don't like the way that it was handled in this volume. So anyways, just not, not my favorite. Uh, but I still enjoyed it. Like I still liked it. I gave it three stars. Uh, it was as opposed to the usual four. Now it is time to see what's going to happen next. All right, spinning now. Wild card. Hmm. For the wild space. What did I do with it? There it is. For the wild space, I'm going to read Rogue Protocol by Martha Wells. I'm wanting to continue on with the series. Honestly, I wanted to make my brother read it, so we started it over, and I realized I didn't remember enough to continue on without, like, especially not about this one. This one feels kind of like a blur to me. So uh, I am going to be rereading this. So I have an audiobook for this. It can be nice and quick and short. And then I might, you know, I'm going to do my next spin now because I don't know if I'm going to want to film later. So let's see what the next after this, because I'm, I'm going to need a friend recommends because I need a physical book as well. Oh, 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 don't fall. Dropping all of my... Okay, who here has the least number of pages? I'm gonna read The Princess Trap by Talia Hibbert because I'm kind of feeling like a romancy mood. We've got an audiobook, we've got a physical read, and I will see you when I see you, which probably will be tomorrow, unless something happens that I need to rant about, in which case, I guess I'll pull... I, I guess I won't put away my ring light while I'm cleaning my room. I think that's what we'll do. Well, hello, it is the end of the weekend, um, and it is time to wrap this vlog up. Please ignore the fact that my skin is being my skin. It is not quite resigned itself to the fact that we run again, but like, I like being able to breathe more easily and uh, my asthma responds well to me running. So like, like not in the moment, but when it's consistent. I read three books in this weekend and I am going to make the commitment now not to beat myself up about it because number one we had some stuff going on this weekend my brother came in yesterday uh my dad is having knee surgery today uh so we're doing like there's a bunch of stuff going on that i don't need to give excuses this is my channel i can read as much as i want to read and um i am going to look at the fact that i went read three books in one weekend as a win because a lot of the time i don't read any books in a weekend so we're gonna go with that we have these three books we read them and we're gonna come here and talk to you about them. First one we have is Freedom is a Constant Struggle, Ferguson at Palestine, and the, of course they put the name, the, the Ferguson Palestine, the foundations of a movement. You guys have heard me rave about this on this vlog before. It's great, it's fantastic. I have my own copy coming in the mail at some point soon, so I can, you know, go and do all my highlighting in there. This is a very, very good book, especially if you are looking like, I love the approach that Angela Davis takes to intersectional feminism and how broad and wide-reaching her understanding of the ways different things intersect is. A lot of this is Angela talking about how things are and how they are all connected, how all of the struggles are connected. I also really enjoyed the way that Angela is able to, to in many of these essays, speeches, etc., look at what's going on, go, yeah, this feels like a step back, or yeah, this is not ideal, and still have hope. Even if you're looking and you're saying, this feels like it's going backwards, this feels like we're losing ground, which we very much feel like we're doing right now, you still keep pushing forward. You don't stop pushing forward just because it feels like you're being pushed back. The next one that I finished was Spy Family Volume 5. This, I don't remember, I gave that five stars. I think I gave this four stars. I'm really enjoying this manga. I might have given this one three stars. I'm enjoying it. I'm ready to get, I have six and seven over there. I'm excited to read them. I love this manga so much. It's just very cute and fun and I'm having a good time with it. This is like everything I want. Like this whole little forced proximity family that has been created and this child is just like knows everything because she can read people's minds and is having it. I love it. I love it so much. So many like of the best hallmarks of manga and anime are in this series and I'm really enjoying it. I'm having so much fun with it. And then I completed my reread of Rogue Protocol by Martha Wells. I love Martha Pat. <laughs> he is so grumpy. And he just wants things to go according to plan and to be able to watch his shows and all of those things. And like nothing ever goes according to plan and he's never allowed to watch his shows. This one is very funny because I didn't realize like Rogue Patrol 
is the title. And I didn't realize how applicable that title was until this time around, and I don't want to spoil anything. So I'm not going to say why or how, because like, it will majorly spoil like the latter half of this book. And there's not a lot of this book to begin with, so it's very hard to talk about these series without spoiling it. I'm really enjoying this kind of um, series that we are watching of Murderbot wrestling with the fact that they can do whatever they want now. A lot of this is Murderbot having to really um, grapple with what they want. In, and what what do they want because they never had to think about that before and now suddenly they realize oh I actually do need to think about that and I really I appreciate that I enjoyed that this was it's fun it's a fun series I can't wait to move on to book four and see where that goes I think there's a vlog coming out <laughs> this is bad there's a vlog coming out it didn't fit in my schedule before now um or this had to go before it fit in my schedule uh, to edit and everything. Um, there's a vlog where you'll hear me talk about the first two in that vlog. Bad planning on my part, but I just, I enjoy it. I love it. It's fun. Um, and I can't wait to get to book four, which I know my hoopla has. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I will have other videos right over, I think it's on this end. It's this side, right? It, or it's this side. I suddenly do not know. Right far aside, that is it for now, my friends. Happy reading, and I will see you later when we will talk about more wordy nerdy things. Bye!